Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are looking at creating a simple uh, nav mesh. So a nav mesh, the um, long for it is a, um, a navigational mesh. And this can tell AI, your player, or any kind of objects where to go to or meet to a point. So you could have enemies attacking a player. You could have a player going to a point. You can appoint and click everything like that. So um, I've just sent, um, created a simple setup here where I have um, a green capsule that is my player. So I should actually name him player while we're here. There we go. Uh, so my capsule is my player. Make sure I name all of these. My cube is my target. So that's where I want my player to reach. And floor, wall, lovely, and everything else is absolutely fine. And just to make it a little bit clearer for you, we can see that my player is a green material and my target is a blue material. So what we need to do to kick off the um, nav mesh is go up to window and choose AI and go to navigation. And as soon as we kick onto this, this will open up a tab over here next to your inspector, or you might have inspector services and then navigation, but it will be here anyway. So the first thing we need to do and we need to look at when we're creating a navigational mesh is um, Unity wants to know what is going to move and what is going to be static within your game scene. So when we mean static, that means it's not going to move at all, like a floor or a wall, for example, um, or a building. Um, this creates it where then Unity can then create a nav mesh on the floor and around um, certain objects like walls and things like that, to, um, determining the height and things like that. So that's what we need to do first. And as you can see, navigational static, we need to make sure that we can create one of these two. So if we click onto floor, we can see it says navigation static, where we're gonna click yes. And then if we look at navigation area, we're gonna make sure that our floor is walkable okay we can then click onto our wall and then again I'm gonna make sure this is static so it's not gonna move within my game but this time for navigational area I my wall you know I don't want this to be walkable or to be jumped on so I'm gonna check not walkable but if you wanted your player to jump over the wall climb up some stairs then we could create a walkable area um, but it still be static there we go. So this really, really helps us out for um, outlining what our navigational or where our nav navigational mesh is going to go with on our floor. So let's move that angle up there like that. Um, lovely, gives us a bit of angle now. So what I can do is if I go onto the next tab, we can see that um, the nav mesh can create an agent. And an agent is essentially like a player or an object that can move around within that mesh. So again, as I was saying, like an enemy or a player from earlier. So we can then look at the radius of our capsule and then size it to that. And we can then change step height if we wanted our player or nav mesh agent to climb up some stairs or something like that. But the first thing you can do, the most easiest thing you, you can do with just the settings that you have and the scene that you have, just click click bake. And as we can see here with nav mesh display, show nav mesh display, we have that checked. So as soon as we click bake, this will give us clear area of where our character can go. So let's just have a check around that wall. Fantastic, so our player can easily journey around and meet our target here. That's fantastic, that's what we're looking for. Say we had some steps up to the player, we would then affect the step height and then click bake again. If you had a really wide character, you would then change the radius of the character. So as we can see, if we change things here, we can see that we would be changing the nav mesh bake, so we'd have to click bake again. So I'm just gonna put that back to 0.5 just like that. So any kind of changes, click bake again. So, but I'm happy with my character here, so that's all good. So next thing we need to do is have a look um, at that we know that this is a, a, 
um, a nav mesh area for our player to journey, but the nav mesh itself doesn't know what object is moving. It doesn't know that player is the object that it's going to move. So if we make sure we click onto player, make sure we go back to onto the inspector tab. Under add component, we can add, as you can see right there, just type in nav and then nav mesh agent appears. We can then click onto that. And as soon as we've done that, if we double click and have a look at our player, we can see that this almost like collider cone or cylinder is now taken over over our player. So we can see that the capsule's got its capsule collider, but also we've got this added nav mesh agent now. So we know that's all working. And again, we can go to change, we can re regulate the speed, angle, everything like that, as well as the, the initial acceleration and also change the radius and the height as well. But then if we change the height and radius, we'd have to go back to our navigation, Ooh, go back to our navigation and change that as well. So rebake the area. I'm really happy with this at the moment. Um, this is just our little demo area, isn't it? So um, I'm happy with what we have. So um, what we need now what we need to look at is getting our player to move to this target. And we're gonna do that by creating a really simple script. So what we're gonna do is go create, create initial folder, call this scripts. Oh, make sure I can spell scripts. Then in the scripts folder, we're gonna right click, go to create and go to C-sharp scripts. And we're gonna just name this AI just to make things a little bit easier. So once we've got that script, we are gonna double click on that script. Lovely, fantastic. So now that we are using uh, the nav mesh agent, we need to say that we're using artificial intelligence agent and we need to call that up within the top part of our Unity script. So we need to just say using Unity engine dot AI semicolon. Lovely. Okay, so there's two things that we need to think about when we are going to move our player or an object within our nav mesh. That's the player itself and the target because it needs to know where it's going. So the first things first, if we think about the player, we're gonna call this a private. We're just gonna call up the nav mesh agent there it is and then we can call this we could call this the player because that's what exactly who that is and the second thing I said was we need the target so we need the transform so we need to say public transform and we can just call this target and semicolon that as well makes things a lot easier okay so now we have those two things um, what we can do within our start, our void start, is what we can call up the player and say, what is the player? What is underscore player within our script? Well, we know that it's the nav mess agent, don't we? That's the thing we want to do. So player equals get components. And then we can say that is the nav mesh agent. Do some closed brackets, semicolon. Then we need to say that we want our player dot set destination so where is the destination of where our player is heading so where that nav mess agent is heading well it's going to be heading to target so if we say target dot position semicolon that should sort us out so if we save this script once we've saved this script we can go back to unity we're going to go onto the player add component and we're just going to type AI and that should want to add the script at the top. There we go. And then the script is asking for the target. So it wants to the transform controls of this target. So all we're going to do is click and drag the target into there. Lovely. That will give it its, its um, controls. And as soon as we press play, we should have our player traveling. There we go. All the way around to our target. Fantastic. So let's just quickly for this game view, I'm gonna click on main camera, objects, um, align with, oh, not align with move, align with view, there we go. So if we go to our game view, press play again, we can see from my camera that our player is doing the direct movement straight to 
our object. Fantastic. So, um, what we need to look at is if we go on to our target, if I move my target now, well really, our player should follow this moved target, but it's not. So, and the reason for that is if we go back to our script, we can see that we've put the player.setDestination in the start. So it's only happening at the start of our script. So if we highlight this and cut and paste, so if we do control X, put it in our update, command paste, or control paste or control V, save this script again. Um, make sure on our scene view or when you press play, I'll probably just go to game view anyway. And as he's falling over, we can move. And as you can see, our player is now, we're creating quite a nice looking it's trying to catch up with our target there we go so if our target was us so our player when we created movement with horizontal input this would be our enemy trying to come after us and attack us so there we go really nice and simple and easy to understand with nav meshes i hope you have fun with this um and it was nice and clear from you wicked see you soon